And bringing out of that interview through some uh, more news coming in. The DGMOs of India and Pakistan have met to discuss the ceasefire and violations at uh, the line of control. In fact, uh, the Pakistan DGMO, General Ishfaq, protested on the hotline about the casualties suffered by Pakistan and Indian firing. Uh, now, these are details coming in. Pakistan also reportedly denied once again that it had anything to do with the beheading of Indian soldiers. Shrinjoy Chaudhary, National Affairs Editor, is joining us live this evening. Shrinjoy, yeah, Pakistan uh, in a state of uh, denial, completely disillusioned uh, to the facts on the ground. They continue to deny that our soldiers were beheaded. Yes, on the Hemraj issue, all you get is a wall. Uh, because there were really two things that were discussed in the DGMO's meeting, uh, the conversation today on the hotline. The first was, of course, this was the Pakistani uh, decision to call, and uh, this was a scheduled meeting. Usually the DGMO speak on Tuesdays, but because of Army Day yesterday, they uh, spoke today at 10 o'clock, after 10 o'clock. And the first thing that the uh, Pakistani DGMO said is that India was responsible for firing uh, uh, into Pakistan uh, yesterday, and two, there were two casualties have happened on the Pakistani side. Now, uh, the Indian position was very clear in the Indian side. Lieutenant General Vinod Bhatia said that, yes, India did fire, but it was in response to Pakistani firing, and we don't know about any casualties. That was the first thing. The other issue, of course, was Hemraj. India raised the issue of Hemraj once again. India asked for the remains of Hemraj once again. And once again, uh, there was no reply, no proper reply from the other side. Uh, the only point that was uh, made was that we were not involved in this uh, operation, the killing of Hemraj. Therefore, we have no idea uh, about what happened to him. And therefore, there is no question of having his remains. So basically, uh, it's an impasse. Uh, the Pakistani side is making it very clear uh, that they claim that they were not involved in that operation involving Hemraj uh, is death, and therefore they cannot, if they are not involved in the operation, obviously they cannot return anything, any remains of Hemraj.